about the island. Here, island is back. It's raining as well. But you're gonna get wet anyway, so that's not a problem. That's the unfortunate thing, yeah. So three of the slots and them changing their time. Too sure. It's just the first hit of the cold only takes your breath away. Right. Wetsuit. I might as well stick on the wetsuit, will I? Oh absolutely, yeah, because you won't go in without <laughs> simple enough. Well it's you know you Do you take the hands down off your plates so I can freeze? Hyperventilate, what's that? You, and that's why people drown. The first reaction they want to do when they get into cold water is they take a, they, they lose the run of their breath. You know, right? But, but you won't. Oh yes, I will. <laughs> Can I just take around five minutes and then it's fine. You know? See, he's a lot extra padding than me. Exactly. I have 16% body fat. You have zero. You know? <laughs> he's saying all the right things. I hate people like you. Yeah. These are often the best swims. Like, I've been sent down here. At, we have a break at four o'clock at work. And the yeah. guys would say it's pouring rain. And they say, sure, you're going training. And we come down here. And you go to the far side. It's a real, it's, a, it's better than training in warm water because it's a much better mental test. You get to the, the White House, say, and you can either get out and have four hours walking back, or you can swim for another 25 minutes and finish, you know? So it's a real. It's a real good way of toughening yourself up. I've actually got a, I've got a thing. Pull that on and put a second one on there. My toes are numb already. And I haven't been near the water. <laughs> I know. I know. Like Dave and Noel would be the two guys that propelled it on. Hurry up. You win? Oh, no, no. Basically, between uh, oh. fundraising and keeping us going, you know. Okay. Dave has been on the English Channel, he's been on Gibraltar. Noel is a long distance swimmer and a triathlete. Like, we all just kind of got hooked into it from triathlon. Yeah. Like, Dave is a compuls compulsive obsessive trainer. He would train until he's, you know, cycling and running. Right. You know, he's done two or three Ironmans. We've, I've done an Ironman, you know. And that's how you kind of go longer and longer. Yeah. Just becomes an obsession, I guess, does it? Like everything, so. Yeah. It's just, we've been just lucky enough to manage to do these things, you know. I have a hood somewhere, actually. A hood? Oh, I like the sound of that. What about boots? Flippers, if you want to. <laughs> you going far? I have a two caps, you should be laughing anyway. Okay. Should I cover my ears with the caps? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get down over because it gets into your <laughs> eardrum. Oh, victim. It's like exactly. fresh meat here. <laughs> How far are we going? I'd just go to the island and back, I'd say. But we'll go, we'll go as far as you feel comfortable. Yeah. And then, if you're not happy, we'll pull back in. As soon as you're not happy, just say. Don't wait. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. But it's, well, it's not too bad. No, seriously. <laughs> Won't be happy in a minute anyway. Just, but that's another thing about swimming. You're not happy. Happiest thing is finishing. Right. Water. Right, lads. Turn around here now and pose. Steve loves this thing. He's used to standing here. Yeah, I love standing next to a model here, like this guy. Here, like, you know. Real men. So I have to. I'm a sucker. Oh, you're videoing? Oh, yeah, 